In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to get set up and use NordVPN. And also in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the NordVPN desktop app, access the different versions of Netflix, and towards the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to do this on mobile phone devices. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is just walk you through the process of getting NordVPN downloaded it onto your computer and then I'll walk you through the app. So I've just clicked the link down below in the video description and this has opened me to this page. And this is an exclusive link that I've actually got from NordVPN. And as you can see guys, I'm currently getting the three year plan for $3.49 per month. And with that link, they actually throw in an extra free month on top. However, if you don't want to opt for the three year plan, there's other options such as the one year plan, the one month plan, and also a limited time two year plan as well. However, from my own personal experience, I do find it's really cost effective to lock in those really cheap prices for a long time period. So once you've picked your plan of choice, you can just scroll down and click continue to payment. And from here, you just simply want to put in your personal information and continue with the checkout. So once you've finished with the checkout process of NordVPN, this is what you'll be greeted with. Uh, automatically, it detects what type of device you are using. And as you can see, it's prompting me to download the desktop app uh, for my MacBook Pro. Or alternatively, you can scroll down and pick the particular download for your device. So as you can see, we've got Windows, Android, Mac, Android TV, iOS, and Linux as well. Okay guys, so once you have NordVPN downloaded onto your device of choice, you'll just simply have to log in with your username and password. And this is what you'll be greeted with once you log in on a desktop device. So I am on a Mac, so it might look slightly different to a Windows PC, uh, but this is the general gist of what you're likely to see. So straight out of the box, NordVPN is completely ready to use. Um, all you have to do is go and select a particular location that you would like to connect to. All of the VPN protocols are already set up in the background. So if you are looking to start watching different versions of Netflix, uh, downloading files or browsing the web, anonymously, you can just simply start using the service. It really is that simple. However, if you are looking to adjust a couple of the settings, I'll quickly show you how to do that. So to adjust these settings, you can click on the settings icon here. And if I just move this over, we have various preferences we can adjust. So these are the general settings, um, such as auto connect to the VPN protocol, CyberSec for blocking ads, and also auto launch as well. So I just leave these on uh, the default settings. However, you do have the ability to adjust the CyberSec, uh, which like I said, does block the ads, and also the auto connect, uh, which will automatically open up NordVPN whenever you open your computer. And you also do have the option of setting up various kill switches. So if for whatever reason NordVPN does cut out, it will automatically sever that interconnection with that specific app so your personal IP address isn't leaked. And you also do have the ability of setting up DNS servers if you are looking to connect it to maybe your smart TV. So I'm not going to dive too much into these settings as out of the box they are completely ready to use. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. And in this video, I want to go watch the different versions of Netflix. Uh, for myself personally, this is the main reason why I do use VPNs as I'm actually located in a country where we miss out on thousands of TV shows and movies. And just to walk you guys through the process of how to use NordVPN for this specific purpose, I'll just quickly show you guys how to do this. So I'll just go and have a quick look for the United Kingdom as I want to go watch a particular TV show that is available on that platform. So here we have the United Kingdom. So I can now go and click on this particular location and that will automatically connect me to the fastest server on the NordVPN network in the UK. Or alternatively, I can click on these three dots. And as you can see guys, we've got hundreds of servers to pick from in the United Kingdom alone. And alternatively, we can also pan around for specific locations as well. But I do find it's a lot easier and quicker just to simply search for it. So in this instance, I'm just going to click on the UK as I want to get connected to the fastest server. And this will just take a couple of moments to load. And once this is highlighted in green, this just notifies me that my entire computer, including every single one of my browsers, is now connected. So there's really no need to download third-party kind of plugins for Google, Chrome, Firefox, and all of the other browsers, as you can just use the one hub to connect your entire computer. Okay, so now we're connected to a server. I can go back to my Netflix account. I'll go and refresh the browser, and this will load me onto the British-based version of Netflix. 
And if I want to go and visit particular websites that are only available in the UK, I can also do that and even start downloading torrents anonymously and viewing the web anonymously as well. So now that I'm here, I'll now be able to access particular TV shows and movies that are only available on the UK based version of Netflix. And I can also repeat this process for the American version of Netflix, the Japanese, the Spanish and heaps of others. And just to show you guys an example of this, I'm going to go search for the TV show Friends, uh, which I'm sure you're all aware of. And this was actually taken off Netflix um, a couple of months ago, but you actually still can find it on Netflix in particular locations. So this really is one of the main benefits of using a VPN along with all of the others as you do allow yourself to unblock heaps of content um, around the globe. And as you can see guys, we now have friends available plus some additional titles such as How I Met Your Mother, uh, Vampire Diaries, The Big Bang Theory, Fresh Prince, New Girl and the list keeps going on. So what I'm going to do now is just go play a really small snippet of this in real time as I want to show you guys what it's like to actually use NordVPN. And as you can see guys, that's now loading with no issues. Okay, so that's the desktop version out of the way. So I'm just going to quickly jump over to my mobile phone and just walk you guys through the similar process on how to get it set up on a smartphone device and also connect to a different version of Netflix. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm over here on my iPhone device and I've already gone and installed the NordVPN just to speed up the process of this video. So I'm just going to go open up the app now. And once you do open the app, it's very similar to the desktop uh, app itself. You have the ability to kind of pan around and search for a particular location or alternatively, you can slide up from the bottom and you have the option for quick connect. So this will automatically connect you to the closest server to your location. So this is really great for general internet use, uh, YouTube, downloading files and so on. Or alternatively, you can slide up from the bottom and also search for particular locations or cities. And then we also do have the extra control for speciality servers. So if I click on this one, we now have the option for P2P torrenting and also the Onion Network as well. But I'm just going to leave this as is as I'm looking to watch the different versions of Netflix. So I'm just going to leave it on the default settings. However, if I do want to adjust further settings, I'll quickly show you guys how to do that. So you can do this by clicking on the top right hand corner. And from here, we have very similar settings to the desktop app. Um, we've got CyberSec, which will block ads and malware. And this is really great if you're looking to prevent ads on websites and YouTube. And then we also have the option to adjust the VPN protocol and also auto connect as well. So again, guys, I'm not going to dive too much into the settings as NordVPN is ready to use straight out of the box. So I'm going to go back to the home. Now here, I want to go watch a particular movie. Um, I'm kind of in the mood to watch some Harry Potter and this can actually be found on the Spanish version of Netflix. So I'll go and search for Spain. Search for that one. And again, guys, very similar to the desktop, we have the location itself. And if I click on the three dots, I can also go and pick a particular server. But in this instance, I just want to go and press kick quick connect, as this will automatically connect me to the quickest server on the Spanish network. And this will just take a couple of moments to load. And once this is highlighted in green, uh, this just notifies me that my entire iPhone device is completely connected. Um, so I can start using Netflix, other streaming platforms, browsers, and they will all be connected to a Spanish location. And if you look on the top left hand corner of my iPhone screen, there's a very small VPN uh, icon, which just lets me know um, that everything is connected. And if I also close the NordVPN app itself, uh, the VPN icon remains there. And this just notifies me that the VPN is just on in the background. So now that we're connected to a Spanish location, I'll go and open up Netflix. And this will go and load me onto the Spanish version of Netflix. And it really is that simple guys. So I'll go onto the platform. And now that I'm here, I'll go and search for Harry Potter. Just do a quick search for that one. And as you can see guys, we now have access to all eight Harry Potter films. And if I scroll down a little bit further, we've got other awesome titles such as Lord of the Rings, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Jumanji, and the list pretty much keeps going on. And even a lot of these titles actually can't be found on the UK or the American based version of Netflix. So what I'm going to do now is actually go play a really small snippet of this movie in real time, as I really want to show you guys that NordVPN is actually working great for iPhone devices and also other smartphone devices such as Android as well. So I'm just going to go quickly uh, play one of these um, just 
press or play on this one. And again, guys, this will be in real time with no edits. And from my own experience, it typically does take around maybe five to 15 seconds, as you can see right there. So as you can see guys, NordVPN is incredibly easy to get started with. It's ready to use out of the box. However, if you are looking for that extra functionality, you do have that control. And again guys, if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, I do have a massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If there's anything I've missed or maybe you'd like to know something, then please comment down below as I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.